Eric decided to get a 6x60 gigantic. He decided this size. I think it's because he hates us. I'm hoping the draw had no issue. You know? I understand you gotta make a big long cigar. But don't put this kind of stuff in there, right? If the draw doesn't improve to taste better, I'm gonna pull another one up. We'll see. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm sick of Mexican San Andreas. Like, it seems like every cigar out there right now has it. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sassa Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And this time we're doing a triple review. So we will have me doing this review. We'll have Martin Amaya, once famous, doing this review. And then we have um, Smoke One, if you have one, Eric doing this review. So today the cigar is West Tampa Tobacco Company, red. And this is the size of Gigante. So this is the six by 60 cigar. Now you gotta ask why the size? They have a three size thing. Um, let me see if I can get you the three sizings because they're big. Could have got a five by 50 Robusto. Could I get a six by 52 Toro, but Eric decided to get a 6x60 Gigantic or Gigante, however, Gigante, Gigante, however you want to call it. But he decided this size. I think it's because he hates us. It's a huge cigar to smoke. Huge cigar to smoke. Now, the. Rapper is actually very almost like sandpaper velvety. It's like it doesn't match. The velvety and sandpaper don't get together, but this is like a, it feels like a, a really fine grit sandpaper. That's what it feels like. Dark chocolate look. Smells like chocolate. I think there's a little bit of pepper to it too. Cut the cap. Now I'm hoping the draw had no issue. When you have that big of a cigar, if the draw has issues, you'll suffer. Light this up. Make sure I toast the sides. I'm trying to smell the smoke. It kind of doesn't smell like anything. If anything, kind of like old book. Okay. So the wrapper is Mexican San Andreas. And filler and binder is going to be Nicaraguan. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm sick of Mexican San Andreas. Like, it seems like every cigar out there right now has it. Got a damp, sour taste, a little bit pepper. I 
leather. There might be some cocoa somewhere. There's a little bit of sweetness somewhere in there. And you can almost smell the chili pepper. Almost. So there's some spice in there. Now, so this is done by West Tampa Tobacco, which is relatively new. Um, company by Rick Rodriguez and even though he's somewhat of a famous person I have to say that I really think that he did not do his fairness good service I think his cigars are rushed uh, especially when I first got the West Tampa uh, white label ones the both both cigar I think the Habano and the Maduro when I receive them, they were rushed. They were not packaged well. They were not done well. If you watch my old reviews of those two, two, two cigars, you will know what I mean. The, not even the cello fits correctly. Now, I have a problem with that. When you're someone this po uh, popular, this famous, every product that you create and do and get into the market should not be rushed. It should not be rushed. I think it should be to an extent over critical so that you can do your fans justice you can like you know oh i'm doing it for my fans unless it's perfect it's not leaving this factory that's what i always think well obviously uh, people would think differently I, I just think a lot of their cigars are not aged to properly or to the the amount it needs and you have to bring it back and it has another set and the packaging is lacking the the box is not perfect you know what i'm saying it's just a lot of that so now even though i say this say that it's underage obviously the the wrapper color looks relatively even relatively and but it's not the way they portrayed it on their um on a lot of photos that I see on the website. A lot of photos I see on the website is actually very smooth. Very, in a way, looks like artesian paper. Like almost toothy, but it's not bumpy. But this one is not. It's bumpy. It's a big cigar. Oh! Definitely taste start to taste more of that chocolate now. Definitely start to taste more of that chocolate. It has also this paper box taste too. Paper box taste. Um a little bit more spice coming up. Let me smoke through one third so I don't have to keep Go on a tangent about how I'm not satisfied with this company, but yeah, I'm reviewing it for the sake of reviewing it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we are one third of the way through, and it tastes kind of like damp wood with a mixture of a little bit of chocolate and sourness, and some part of it are kind of muted. And they're like, you know, this draw is a little tough. So I decided to use my little tool. And I'm working on it right now. You know, I understand you gotta make a big long cigar. But don't fucking put this kind of stuff in there, right? Let's just pull it out of it. That's a huge freaking. Uh, you see? This is the disappointment, right? But yeah, first third, 
flavors are okay. There's a lot of muted spot. That really doesn't taste like anything. And then at point, it kind of, it kind of just tastes like a like paper box, right? Cardboard box. And I think that flavor usually came with like some sort of Lajero. I don't know if there's Lajero in here. But that is not that enjoyable. It really isn't that. All those muted spot. The Italian turns creamy and it just goes right away. So I don't know how I want to judge this cigar because this cigar is not very expensive. It's like 10 bucks. $10.99 or something like that for this cigar. So I don't know. I'll keep smoking it. And hopefully the the you know not that I pull that giant stem out of it. Uh well vein, whatever you want to call it, it will taste better. Because there's another one. If the draw doesn't improve to taste better, I'm gonna pull another one out. We'll see. Okay, as I smoke it, it get, keep getting more harder and harder to draw. So I decided to pull the stem. So this gigantic or gigante or whatever you want to call it has this as present. Yeah. If you can't tell how big they are, they are big. Okay. So yeah, they kind of got plugged and I unplugged it. And the draw got better. You start to get retro hill that has a little bit more chocolate. The but the paper box flavor didn't go away. Basically, like, you know, every time you get to a blind spot that unless you retrohale, it doesn't have as much flavor. You get that paper box taste. It smokes very warm. The strength is about medium plus-ish. Um, and it doesn't have that, it doesn't have a lot going on. It's very boring cigar to me. It's, um, if you like leathery-ish, box paper woodsy flavor then you might like it i mean i hear a lot of people talking good about the cigar and i really don't think the cigar is good i mean i'm at the last third at parts you get this sharp sour almost like a dark roasted coffee flavor but it's not consistent it doesn't go everywhere it almost feel like the cigar needs to age some more. And that like, you know, goes back to the very beginning when I'm talking about, I think all the cigars are rushed and not properly aged or to get to that really good flavor. So I did, I think it did improve as it enters the last third. Since I can start tasting that little sourness to it. But as, uh, besides that, it's a very boring cigar. I don't know why people say it's good. It, it's not. It's not for me. Now, price rise right now is about a six dollar cigar to me. And I obviously didn't enjoy the size. So six dollars cigar right now. Um yeah, let me finish the last third and we will um talk about the summary. But before that I'll share the band. So the difference between the band is uh, it, the, the the center of that logo is red. Because the white, they just changed the, they just have the background as white. So only difference is that the center is red. Okay. Not a lot of crazy design to it, which is fine because it is, they tried to sell this as a, like a core line kind of thing. I don't know what's the difference between red and white. So it's so far it's not very amazing. It's not meant to be, I guess. It's not it's supposed to be core line thing, right? It's not meant to be amazing. It's not limited edition. So I can't fault them for that. But yeah, let me smoke the last third and we'll come back and we'll go to summary. Okay, so I will consider this as done because this cigar is boring as hell. This cigar is not that good. And like the, the last third is just sour. It's like a woodsy sour, but it's just sour. And uh, if you retro here, you get a little bit of chocolate. And a little bit of, I don't know, what you call that mintiness? I don't know. Um, but 
it's not it's not amazing it's not that good I wouldn't I can't recommend this skip it skip it ten dollars a gram I will say it's a six dollars a gram to me it's a six dollars a gram skip not 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 my favorite not not even close Once in a while, you get a chocolate. No, but it's it's you have to. It's like a hit and miss. You know, for a little bit, you got some notes. For a little bit, you don't have anything. And you retro hill, you got a little bit of note, and you go back again. You maybe you have something. It's a really inconsistent cigar. It tastes like it needs some more time to sit in your humidor for a while, like a year or two kind of thing. It's it feel rushed. It feel not elegant. You feel not nicely put together. It's just overall not a good cigar. I don't know why people like it, but hey, if you like it, you like it. I don't like it. Uh, a lot of time, cigars that's good are good. You know, I don't like Cohiba, but they taste okay here and there. And then when I do review, I say they're good or they're worth something. But this thing is, is this feels like a like a bundle cigar. Like it really does. Uh, so yeah, six dollar is the the highest I'm gonna give this cigar. Uh, the box kind of looks nice, it's all red and everything, but that's separate from the fact that even with a box, I don't want to pay $10 for this. I would not go buy a box. That's just the way it is. So, that's it for this cigar review. Make sure to check out Martin Amaya's review so that you, know, you can get his opinion on it. Make sure to check out Smoke One if you have one review so you can get his opinion on it. But for me, I don't like this cigar. So, if you like this cigar review, like subscribe um comment start a conversation if you like the cigar tell me tony you're full of crap uh if you if you don't like the cigar let me know so i know that you know so other people know that you know this cigar is not worth 10 billion dollars to buy yeah you're buying the plane not the cigar really so i'll see you guys next time bye guys